All right, coffee and a rant, take one. Here's yet another reason to despair at the overflowing fountain of ignorance that is the internet. A while ago, when I still had a Facebook news feed, I was greeted by a targeted ad for a site offering bass lessons. It was actually run by a friend of mine who I went to music college with. And the banner image for the website featured said friend holding a five-string Music Man Stingray. Not a particularly unusual or offensive instrument by any stretch of the imagination. And yet, some genius had elected to leave this solid gold turd of a comment underneath. No need for five strings if you're good enough, me thinks. Now, my usual approach to the internet is don't feed the trolls, but this particular comment is so breathtakingly idiotic that I found, found it very hard to restrain myself. There seems to be a hardcore group of bass players who insist on maintaining a regressive attitude towards our instrument, uh, and they have taken it upon themselves to patrol the internet with their pitchforks raised, decrying anything that hasn't been played on a vintage four-string Fender bass. And this attitude usually gets encapsulated in the phrase, Jacko only needed four strings. The only appropriate response to that is to show them these items or point them in the direction of Jameson's five-string bass. Times change, tastes change, music evolves, and the demands placed on bass players seem to be ever increasing. Try playing any sort of pop tune written in the last 25 years in the key of E flat without detuning your bass or using an octave pedal. And you'll find that there isn't any weight there. It doesn't feel like you're playing bass anymore. This attitude that the brand or the model of bass that you play and the number of strings that it possesses has any bearing whatsoever on your musical capabilities is nothing short of insane and yet it persists. You are not the instrument. The instrument is a tool for making music. It's a tool to get the notes out. The instrument is not the music. Granted, there are some people out there shredding away on what look like ironing boards with strings. And it sounds to me pretty terrible, but that's their musical concept. And also there are probably far greater numbers of people making an awful hash of the four string bass and no one seems to bat an eyelid. The quantity of strings on your bass has no correlation to the quality of the music that you make. I'm gonna make a culinary analogy since food is probably item number three on my most important things in life. Number one being music. Number two being the preservation of the apostrophe. Anyway, emphasizing the instrument rather than the music is exactly like going into a restaurant and having a particularly life-altering meal and then insisting on asking the waiter what sort of spoon they use to stir the soup with. The delivery method is irrelevant. It's how good the soup tastes. That's what matters. It doesn't matter if you use a bass or a guitar or a keyboard or a collection of half-empty beer bottles to play music. What matters is the musical content. If you're foolish enough to delve into the dark world of bass forums on the internet, you'll find plenty of threads from people who are curious about how many strings they should have on their bass. You know, should I switch to five strings? Is the six string bass right for me? Whatever. The only deciding factor about the number of strings in your bass is what do you hear in your head? And in your current situation, do you find yourself limited by the boundaries of your fretboard? Are you constantly hearing lines that require lower notes or an extra high register to execute the things that you hear in your head? Again, that's the most important thing. What do you hear? Not what does player X play or what does some person on the internet say that I should be doing because it's what makes them feel comfortable. I went through a number of different instruments and string numbers before I arrived at things that work for me. I started out on the four string bass, PV Milestone 4, excellent budget bass, should never have sold it anyway. Started on a four string bass, went to a six string bass and then went through various configurations of five strings, both low B strings and high C strings before finding the things that worked best for me and the music that I produce. I found myself, although I you know, really enjoy the lower range of the five string bass, I found that I could never get comfortable with the high C string. And you know, this includes those played on very expensive instruments by 
some of the greatest virtuosos out there like John Patitucci and Anthony Jackson. Having seen both of them in concert on several occasions, I have come to the conclusion that, like Gary Willis, I feel that C strings on a bass sound like cats and not in a good way. Now, that, of course, is just my personal opinion. If you're a primarily, you know, a solo bass player, or you do a lot of looping, whatever, then for chordal work, a C string is great. I don't do much chordal work, and I personally cannot make a C string sound like anything other than a bad classical guitar, so I avoid them. Regardless of whether you end up with four, five, six, or 11 strings on your bass, it's your responsibility to learn your fretboard inside and out. Players who elect to play basses with more than four strings have their work cut out because you're rewarded with extended range and that gives you lots more options about where you play things. So you have to be really, really familiar with the entire range of the fretboard on every string. Otherwise, that B string just becomes a very expensive thumb rest. So the moral of the story is this. The instrument is a means to an end, not an end in itself. And Regardless of the number of strings on your bass, you will be absolutely fine as long as you do not allow or expect anyone else to take responsibility of your musical development. Rant over.